Seawall's Murals for Oceans project is an international project and a gathering of contemporary artists from around the world to campaign for pressing ocean environmental issues. By taking the oceans into the streets, we're inspiring and educating communities and individuals to become better ocean stewards and to be aware of what are, what's happening to our oceans and be proactive in ways to curb the issues that are affecting the oceans. The festival was pretty amazing. We had 18 murals that went up in San Diego. I think we had 22 artists total participating, international, national, and local artists. I make elaborate designs out of thin metal. I do wire sculpture. For the last 11 years, I've eked out a living sling and wire. Well, I was reading an article about plastics in the ocean, and plastic is now in, I think, 95% of all ocean waters. They're finding that once it breaks down, it just spreads with the water itself, and that molecular element that makes up the plastic after it's weathered down into that level just spreads everywhere, it gets into every living organism, and now even the brand new newborn baby, when it's born, is tested for this chemical and it has it in it just because it's gotten it through its parents. It's already in all living things. The character is just represented uh, as us as humans, with the city on its head, as us as buildings, and just a whole cityscape but puking out into the ocean, which pretty much happens because people don't think about how much plastic they use and where their trash goes. My character, Bunny Kitty, and it's um, sending the message of pick up your cigarette butts after yourself. If you're a smoker, then don't leave them on the, uh, on the ground and, uh, because most likely they'll end up in the ocean. An estimated 100 million sharks are killed each year for finning. Um, so basically don't buy shark fin soup and educate yourself as to where shark related um, sharks are used within different products and things so you can decide not to purchase them. My mural is based on the topic of ocean acidification um, and rising, rising heat levels in the oceans caused by CO2 levels of the atmosphere. Yeah, so this mural is about um, the connection between international floriculture and reef ecosystems um, and the fact that a lot of the more typical varieties of roses and common decorative flowers are grown in ways that use a lot of pesticides which affect reef systems. So one thing that you can do is to buy local and uh, or just use wild varieties to decorate your homes. My middle topic is about the care of the water and care for the global warming. So the subject of my mural is ocean acidification and that's pretty much a global problem that we can all affect by making a smaller carbon footprint, recycling, trying to use less, being conscientious. I think it's really important to consider how you change people's considerations and speak to their convictions on any topic and I believe that images do. Uh, I think painting on these themes and topics, even if a person doesn't consciously understands the work that you've done, allows people to think about it in very different ways and, and begins to sway the culture of opinion surrounding these issues and hopefully uh, brings more people to a, an understanding that they can do something and that they should do something. Little things matter, but it's gonna take more than a small army, it's gonna have to take a community as a whole. That's the purpose of these murals is raise awareness, you know, like open your eyes. <laughs>